Hey everybody, it's Brendan11 and welcome back to more Spiral Knights for the PC. How everybody doing? How everybody doing? In the last episode, we did this mission to get these two weapons. Which are very, actually really cool. Um, both have high charge reduction, high time, charge time reduction, just like I was talking about earlier about those ooze. And we have this, three, these, all. So I'll be doing this first, and then to end the episode off, if we don't have enough time, we'll do these two, right? So let's go ahead and join the party. If there's no party, then screw them, and let's just go. Alright, so now we are here at this place. Um... I'm not sure which uh, weapons or anything I'm that I can use, but uh, sorry about that. I had to. Sorry about that. I had to cut um, something else. Something happened really quick. But um, it obviously looks a little bit fiery. You always want to make sure you get the best details ready. This is tire one, so why am I worrying about that? Why am I worrying about that? So, usually in Scarlet for it's you see jellies. Um, you, I think you see some beasts. And you see meow cats. Now, meow cats... I forgot what you can call them. I guess you can call them like... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, you can call them undead. That's what you can call them. So, we have beast, jelly, construct, and undead. I think that's the last one, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the last uh, one that we've gotten so far. But we haven't we haven't encountered all of the enemies so far, mind you. All right, so um, um, thinking fire with a little pinch of salt and some taste of shadow. And I might need some. No, for, forget it. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, what the heck? We'll try out biohazard. All right. So, let's put this away, and let's take out a different. You know what? I'm gonna keep this actually, because that's actually really cool to have. Um, we also have this that we could put on as well. We have a Snarbolic suit. Put on that if you wish. We have a Snarby coat. I'm going to be changing my look a little bit more so it's more suiting. And there we go. Alright, so let's continue with this area, shall we? So we have a BTB. BTB, or Barbara's Thornblade, I think it's pronounced. Um, it's kind of different from the Final Flourish and all the other Final Flourishes. I mean, from all the other uh, different uh, different um, Flourishes that you can get. So, when you charge the Flourish, you spring forward and attack. And there's a lot of damage. But with this, you can attack and then like just takes the enemies out just like that. So, make of that what you will. I shouldn't have actually equipped it like all this shadow. No, I don't have a lot of shadow. I only have Atron and um, Biohazard. What am I talking about? Alright, so... Um... As you can see... This, uh... Combustor that I have equipped... Is actually... Actually looks a lot like, um... Voltage. That... The reason... The reasoning behind that is that, uh... Voltage and Combustor and a future weapon that I also have, but I'm gonna show. Also, Acheron, surprisingly, my, some of you might find that surprising, um, are all used for, um, are all smithed from the same sword, I guess you could say, 
in the same two star store. So they all have their own beginning weapon, I guess. I don't know how to say it. All right, so we have two doors here. We can go for we can go here first, or we can go here first. I'm gonna open this one first. I'm gonna get ready my combustor. So we have combustor, voltage, and atron. So which one's the last one? And I thought that were enemies. Oh wow. So let's show off bio biohazard a little bit. So biohazard. The reason why I like biohazard so much is because it is pretty slow, and the gun itself is not that great. But check this out. If I charge it, I hit him with it. Oop. Charge. Him with it. It's one of my favorite weapon designs ever. I mean, you don't really see this. You only see it in two guns. So, you see that spinning orb around him. So you're like, uh, what does that do? If you hit him again, and then if you hit him, just don't charge and hit him. Oop. Boom! Look at that. Fireworks. So yeah, that gun can be really, really overpowered. If you have like a cluster of enemies, you can use some bullets with other bullets and other bullets with some bullets. So let's just destroy you. I want to kill you. And we could just continue with this. Let's just pull that up. I don't know why I'm using that sword against something that's... Why am I using all the strengths of weapons? Like, dang it. Use the weakness. There we go. So, I don't know why I haven't collected these. I haven't explained what all those buttons down there are. I have explained the vials, but I have never explained the capsules. Now, capsules, they, um, you c they're like hearts that you can carry around, basically, without using them. So, if you're low on health, you can use it. A Remy capsule, however, is if you have a status effect on and you're if you really 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 just really want to get rid of it then you can use it but I don't see it much as much as a bad choice of thing I just I took the Atr I took the um jelly out with one hit with the Atron I love how they're all stationary like they're not even chasing me it's amazing so I can just go ahead and just blow them so easy. So I never mentioned what weapons that you could use because this is tier one. So what you could probably use is a. Uh, I mean, you could use your proto sword for all of this basically because this is really really easy. That should be no struggle with this at all unless you have some problem with the like mouse or something because the enemies don't even like come at you. They just. I mean, it takes, you have to be like right in front of their face for them to come at you. But in other um, enemies, in other in other places, you have to like force them to. I mean, they just come at you automatically. So let's go ahead and slash that. Uh, we can open this gate here. These two gates, actually, these three gates. Okay. Sometimes you don't really want to do this unless you're really really desperate for the crowns and I really want um, to conserve my uh, crowns like seriously I really need to because I do not want to go broke from this LP because as I said before all the missions all the prestige and um, there's also this as well expedition in arcade Arcade I can do now, Expedition I can't because I haven't paid for it yet, but it's not much money, I, I'll get it soon. Because that actually gives you free 5 star stuff too, which is kind of cool. It gives you fi free 5 star stuff, 3 star stuff, but the only problem with it is that you can't sell it. Like I don't think you can unbound it or anything, it's just there. Alright, now we can go down here. Uh, I think I need a key actually coming up But the key is over Here yay So I can charge this again if I really want to it's not gonna do much damage to that uh cat because that cat is a uh, Shadow I mean it's not shadow. It's undead so watch this 
boom, all you die. And right, now let's just take these guys out. I love it how like usually in every death, not every death, you have enemies that, for example, the Wolver is right there, is weak to is weak to um, piercing, but not to shot, but but not to anything else. And it's strong against, um, what's it called? It's strong against... Um... It's strong against... Why can't I say the freaking thing? Oh, and by the way, those things look like rubies. <laughs> um... What am I trying to say here? What the heck? Spit it out, Brennan. Spit it out. Pull yourself together! Pull yourself together! But charge this actually. Uh, okay. Actually, take. This is actually a boss. Like the Snarby that I have equipped right now. The blade. If you could actually see clearly. Um, that's actually, uh. A monster. That we are gonna fight. Um, in Tire 1. That's the only Tire 1 boss. There is a Tire 1 boss. Two tire two bosses, which is kind of funny because two tire two, and sadly only three, only one tire three boss. I don't know why they didn't keep that pattern. Um, it would have been so much fun if there was tire three, but I shouldn't really say there's only um, one, two, and one because technically it's two, three, and two because the expedition has a boss as well. This is the same boss anyway, so technically it's just. All tires, but whatever. Um, I want to find out how I get to that room, actually. I, don't, I can't get to that room, sadly. Uh, whatever. I already finished that room. I could see the stuff. Why do you know I think of that? Alright, so we have finished this deck. Okay, so here we are at the next depth. Uh, let's see exactly. You can smash those uh, three vases or fire things or whatever they're called. You get crowns out of them. I believe it's the same loadout, so I'm actually going to change something here. Um, let's make it more fun. Let's add. Let's add the Divine, Divine Avenger to the party. I've never actually shown off the Divine Avenger. The Divine Avenger is one of the more. Um, people say it's like the best weapon in the game. Some say it is, some say it's not, but. Because look at that, I just killed him all those one hit. And it wasn't even their weakness. So some people say, uh. DA and GF are the best weapons in the game. I don't really think so. Because if it's against their weakness, then it's not. Oh, wow. Gonna slash it right through, but I decided not to. Alright, so. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to get those. Oh, whatever. Okay. If you have a choice between getting um, actual armor for this mission, if you don't have a. Uh, like proto armor or whatever. I should actually do this this entire thing in proto armor actually. Just to show you guys how easy it is. Um like the whole entire tire the whole tire two I should do in proto armor. I'm gonna do that next episode. I will do that entire depth in a uh, two star armor and see if I like make it. Like no not the entire depth, the entire tire. The entire tire. See <laughs> uh, look how many missions we have left. We have, well, we only have about one, two, three, four, five missions left. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
about 10, I guess, or technically 13 if you count that, those three that I, uh, will do, um, in this episode now, unfortunately, because I have to go somewhere, so, in next, the next episode, I'll just quickly finish those and then do it, uh, I wish this, Blake, run, faster, please, oh crap, I don't have, oh, if you don't, if you don't see like a, like a block anyway, you can always use a file, or whatever, did I get a, oh, it's weird, yeah, you will get, um, mail from people and stuff all the time, so, if you don't like it, just ignore it, boom, boom, see, it kills these guys in one hit, because it's, I mean, just look at that damage, like, it's all maxed out, just look at that, so, um, we're almost done here. The gate is right over there, so, uh, I'm thinking that I could shoot that down, but I can't because that thing's in the way. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use another vial. Uh, throw that over there. Uh, let's, I already finished that, okay. See, I don't know why they made the first depth so short I mean they made it so long and then they made this like so short cause look we're on like 16 minutes and I um cause it took me about 14 minutes to get uh no 12 minutes actually to get the first step done well I guess I'd uh, do intro and stuff like that but yeah it took us like what, four minutes to get that done? Jeez. Alright, so now we've leveled up the Bristol Butler. Butler. And we have 400 pounds. Just to prove to you that you can scroll down. And look at that. Look at these. Don't these look familiar? Doesn't that look like a red ruby instead of a red shard? Just look like a light shard. And the game just doesn't want me to do it. He's like, stop looking at my inventory. <laughs> okay. It's like, stop yeah, let's stop looking at your inventory and pay attention to the game. Oh, my mic. Whoops. I hit it by accident. It was totally an accident. What the heck? Why did it log me out? Okay. Well, apparently I can't log back in, so I guess I'll be doing the outro and the start menu. So, um, in the next episode, we'll do the rest of the missions, starting off. And you'll get to see me fight in proto-armor. How is that going to feel? It's going to feel very bad for me. But I won't use, like, I'll still use my, my uh, five-star swords, though. Because I'm going to get this done fast. Alright, so this has been Brennan Dockwell. Brennan11, dang it. And I'll see you guys next time.